Welcome to Unlocked. I'm Tone again, and uh, we're continuing with our lease series. And in this segment, we're going to talk about that initial discussion with a potential landlord. What questions should you ask? Let's go. All right, so one of the first ones, and we talked about this in our prior episode, but what's the situation with the bathrooms? You're going to need to know where your plumbing hookups are so that if you need to add another bathroom, you know where you can put it. So have that discussion first and foremost because it's going to be more important than we all care to admit. Next up, HVAC. What is the setup for your air conditioning? And beyond that, what's the setup for your heat? Are you electric or are you oil? Because there's going to be a very big price difference in these elements. Uh, in our Red Bank location, we are on an oil tank and we have uh, central air. So uh, it actually works really well for us. The oil tank doesn't really dip as low as you would think. And um, you know, we go through a lot of AC, but uh, at least we're able to keep the building as cool as we would like. Uh, in Morristown, however, we have a really hard time with our air conditioning. Heat's pretty much fine. But um, routing the AC through all the different zones after we did you know, all of the, I guess, layout changes, uh, we had to add a giant hallway because of that bathroom issue. Um, make sure your bathrooms are in a close proximity to where your customers are going to enter. Um, you really need to be able to give your customers good bathroom access. So. Um, we put a hallway in to, you know, escort our customers to where the bathrooms were placed. And uh, as a result, we kind of subdivided the routes for the air conditioning. And uh, now we have to kind of do some rerouting. So um, make sure the, you know, that whole situation is under control. Know about your heat. Know about your air conditioning. Your customers need to be comfortable when they are in your establishment. Um, how much work do you need to put into the place? You really need to like have a map in your head of where you're going to put your games, what type of games you're looking to put inside, multi-room, one room, etc. And you know, look at that place and in your head blueprint it because you're going to need an idea of where you're going to put these games. Um, how much square footage is usable space versus how much square footage are you only going to be able to use for storage? Now in Red Bank, uh, the entire building is basically usable space. The only spot that's really strictly storage is the attic. In Morristown, however, we have a massive basement. It would have been an awesome game, but storage only because the ceilings are super low and people would hit their heads all the time. So you got to really make sure you know what's designated for what. Um, and these are all questions you want to have right up front. What's going to be the price per square foot? This is going to be a big discussion. Um, what type of costs are going to be built into that? Um, are you going to have to pay any differences in the taxes on the property? Um, you know, you're going to really need to look at all this stuff because it's not just going to affect your lease price, it's also going to affect your insurance rates. So really, dig deep and ask questions. Every lease is going to be different. Every element of every lease is negotiable. So don't think you cannot negotiate. If you have anything to add to the discussion, please comment below and do so because I'm sure you'll be helping somebody else out who's navigating their first lease. And uh, as always, subscribe to see more. So until next time.